And we're back for maybe the last part. We met there every day afterwards. We didn't talk to each other. We just spent the time together. Conversation wasn't necessary. My heart was at ease with her there. We were happy. Oh, that cloud looks like a sheep. It's true. It's cute. Y yeah. Takano is smiling. She's cute, too. I loved her hands and her voice and her smile. I fell for her, my first love. I, I love Takano. Yes, I do. I really do. I love her. Love, love, love. T Takano? Hmm? Huh? Soda? What's the matter? L let go. T Taka, no. I, I love you. Huh? W what? Um, so, I love you. I love you, Takano. Taka, you creep. Huh? Why? I I'm sorry. Why? I thought you accepted me. Why, why, why? Um, look, I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to get close to you for that kind of thing. I just felt bad for you, Soda. Sorry, it's nothing. We should stop meeting here, okay? Huh? No, no. Why, why, why won't anyone accept me? Why? Why won't anyone accept me? Soda, stop. Why? Why? Somebody help. Soda, what are you doing? No one accepts me. No one. You think I'm disgusting too, don't you? Well, yeah, kinda. Oh, why am I so slow here? Hmm. What is that noise? Am I being chased or am I getting closer to something? I can't tell. Oh, okay, I'm getting closer to something, it seems. Hey, Soda, what, what you doing? Having fun? Why? Why does no one accept me? What did I ever do? Teacher? My face. I thought if I changed my face, yes, things did change. It was a complete turnaround. Everyone welcomed me. I was well. I was accepted at last. I was happy, but... I soon realized that wasn't me who people were welcome to, it was my face. No one looked inside me, always my appearance. This fabricated face, this isn't me. It's not me who was loved, just this fake face. I've never been loved for me. That's not true, teacher. Everyone knows Mr. Soda's a kind and reliable teacher. They, they, and I know you're, re you're really a nice person, Mr. Soda. Just a little awkward sometimes, and you kill people. Like, that's also one of your uh, downsides. And I like you for who you are. A murderer. Ooh. Teacher, you don't have to be sad. I, everyone, we all love our kind teacher. Well, was I supposed to purge him? Wait, he's a kitty! This kitty was happy being cared for in his last moments. Save time, then I'll go to the final section. Oh, Mr. Onigawara, take this. It's a hand mirror? I think it may be useful. I wonder what for. Hmm. Toma's grave. Toma's grave? So Toma is in here. So is that possessed Toma to drag him into the other world? Touch it? Sure. Mizao, stay back. The others can go free, but I won't give you Toma. Why not Toma? Toma was just playing you. I know, and I hate him for it, but Toma... I hate him so much, yet I love him. It's strange. If you love Toma, then free him for his sake. Aki, do you love him too, don't you? I... I just had an idea. Aki, you should stay here too. We can get along here. The three of us happy together. Forever. 
That I can't. Mm. Toma, hmm? Ugh, uh, monster. Toma? It's just me, Mizao. I'm not a mon. Yeah, go away, monster. Toma. We can't live happily together. Mizao, look at yourself in this mirror. How do you think you look? What the heck is Toma doing? He's spazzing out over there. It can't be. This is me? No, no. Mizao. No, don't look at me. Don't look at me. Oh. Hey, stop spazzing out. <laughs> Get me out of here. Why? Why does all this happen to me? What did I do? Tell me, Mizao. I want to live a long life. I want to be happy with someone. I don't want to be alone again. I'm scared. S sob, sniff. I'm here for you. I'll be by your side. You can't have three. We can't have three, but I know us two can be happy. Okay. Aki, why would you... Because we're friends, aren't we? Friends? Yeah, friends. Huh. Okay. We'll always be together. Yeah. That's the end. Okay, thank you. So. Huh? Was it a dream? Thank you. No, it wasn't. Mizao, I'll never, ever forget you. And I guess that's the actual ending. Should I let the credits roll? I mean, okay, there's stuff going on. Let's let the credits roll. So, next up, I'm probably going to play Mad Father, and then that, uh, I don't know, something hospital game is going to be translated at the beginning of next month, and I will start that. I might have to do both that and Mad Father at the same time. <laughs> and then, um, Course Party Dead Patient is coming out at the end of this month. And that's also going to be translated. I'm going to talk about the translation for that and why I'm kind of iffy on why they're translating it when that when they do translate it. <sighs> and also, our only 1.1 is going to be released next month. Hooray. Yeah, our only the other our only I played was so good. I can't wait to play the next one. Or I shouldn't say the next one. I just can't wait to update it. Enter the secret password, but I don't know what the secret password is. So I'm gonna go look it up. Alright, that should be rep. No, not with the 5. The 5 is the button I used to record, so I put that there. Welcome to the rec room. Okay. Well, that's not what I was expecting at all. Yeah, let's, let's save. Thank you for playing the Zao. It was loaded with silly traps, but still, did you enjoy it? I'm glad if you enjoyed it. Enjoy this bonus room, too. Onigawa is a real mystery. Maybe the truth on him will never fully come to light. He's certainly not human, we can say that. Some of Mizawa's parts, and her toes, torso, didn't need to be found because Onigawa already sacrificed them in advance. So goes the rumor. What was the other option? Oh, well noticed. As a reward, I shall show you these scrapped face sprites. Hmm. Some look uh, pretty nice. Initially, I simply made Onigawara because I needed a save point. I agonized over whether to make him chairman of the board or student council president. His original name was Onizuka. I made it Onigawara to be a little more unusual. I just wanted to have Oni in there. Common evening donors, FSL emote icons. Okay. Whoops. 
about Soda? A mysterious, suave teacher, but he's really a murderer with a dark past. Soda was suspicious from the start. Maybe lots of people predicted he was bad news. Yeah, yeah, probably. This doesn't really impact the story, but Soda wasn't ever attacked because the evil spirits were too scared to come near. And that's because Mizao feared Soda. Mizao and the spirits are linked in a sense. Not completely one and the same, as they attack people she has nothing against. Aki killing Soda was unexpected to Mizao. Maybe Mizao thought sacrificing Toma would make for a happier outcome. By killing Toma, he'd be hers forever, but killing Soda puts him in a grave forever. Either way, Mizao's spirit is saved. However, sacrificing Toma, it's likely Mizao's spirit would never move on. Making the teacher a villain was planned from the start. He was just plain kind from the outset, but soon took on a mysterious air. To be honest, his hair is designed like a young detective from some foreign TV drama. What is this? <laughs> the, f the first version was made for fun in the author's spare time. It's rough around the edges, but look at the big picture. Oh, I feel like I'm misreading everything. Oh, hello. This game was based on the concept of finding scattered parts of a girl with characters and story then added. The author watched lots of B-movie horror flicks, so there's some influence there. There's something the author wishes to tell everyone through this game, and that is, watch out for creeper teachers. <laughs> Please be my friend. Similar to Onigawara, Library is a mystery. She's not human, either. She seems to be Onigawara's servant. She is a fear of humans and only listened to Aki because she smelled like her. Huh? Maybe Aki's not human. Library was made to give out hints. I couldn't think of a good name, so I just let the player decide. Novella was my idea. She was going to murder Toma initially. There... Really. There's traces of that in Toma's ending up in the library. And if you play the boy in version 2. If you haven't seen it, I hope you enjoy it when you do. It's just a minor thing. Don't get your hopes up. Yoshino is really just a coward. She only bullies those weaker than her. That's why a man with more friends and charm is exempt from her wrath. Seemed to like Toma despite his girlfriend. She has an unexpectedly earnest side. Being a bully was set from the start, so she looks like a mean character. I think she looks more delinquent than a bully. I couldn't even tell it was a girl at first. Originally named Sasayama, her art was designed based on her sprites. So that was pretty easy. Actually, most characters were designed from sprites. Toma is a trend, trendy guy. He looks bad, but he brings in the ladies. But aside, inside, he's the ultimate klutz. Even Aki is astounded at times. It must be the good looks that she didn't ditch him. Eh, maybe. He's left in the other world in the true ending. But I leave it up to the players to imagine if he ever made it back or what. He was utterly toying with Mizao. He thought Sautame was a good girl too, but it's unlikely he was serious about her, just like Ayaka says, he's nothing but a seducer. Seems he tried to seduce the library while in the library, this becomes evident in the boy route. See for yourself how that turns out. The concept of hiding in a corpse actually comes from a foreign cartoon. Skeleton. Even here only go is hiding something, look for it if you like. Can't believe that scoundrel though, pretending to be a student council president, what a brat. Kudo is a character who's never awarded, but in the true end, his feelings save him. But was that last Mizao real, or just another illusion? I'll let the players decide on that one. Anyway, Kudo was like a big brother to Mizao. No love involved, so no, Mizao didn't hate Kudo. But Kudo's love was never requited. Kudo looks like a nice guy, but he's not so nice in personality. He's gloomy, and I bet he makes posts of bad-mouthing people on the internet. Kudo's hate rank one Toma Yoshino himself. But I go. Aki's best friend, natural stalker, a fad following, and thus total doofus. She's the one character who's not two-faced. Revived in the true end by Onigawar, she's fond of him, so she'll likely begin a new life of stalking in the other world. The character some inspiration was taken from Revelations, so I mean from my head. I like that lonely atmosphere. Me and Miho are always together. A girl mentioned only by name in the bad end. I actually had plans for a sequel with her once, 
more honest than Aki. Without Maho, I'd be all alone again. A girl in the bad end changed her graphics in version 2. Maho is a vigorous girl. Miho is feeble and thus clings to Maho. The two get along like twins. The tragic heroine, Zhao. Friendless and far away from family, she lived a lonely life. She fell for a man her polar opposite. She longed for Toma and maybe the feelings were mutual. She's an obedient girl, which hides a tricky personality inside. That said, she definitely wouldn't wish unhappiness on anyone when alive. <clears throat> She's likely the nicest of all the characters. Horribly bullied. You know, tragic heroine and all. Forgive me for that, Ms. Al, but I had a story to write. Since it said she never stood out, I gave her a very simple design, but I was surprised at the response of her being seen as cute. Ms. Al being bullied by her classmates was there from the beginning, but most of the ending stuff was decided much later. Even I didn't think this would end up being a game that struggled to claim 15 and up. Popular with many friends thanks to her good girl act, she certainly looks the part. She doesn't really hate Mizao. Posting the text was just a joke, but dating Toma she couldn't forgive. She might seem like a flighty broad, but she really seemed to like Toma. As soon as I knew Toma would have a girlfriend, there she was. Gold ponytail and big breasts. Name and nickname were decided from the start. I'm rather fond of Sautame's face sprite. Her clothes make her look like a secretary, though. Hmm? What indeed was this machine? Even the author doesn't know. They passionately kiss and get her room. Did you know there's a place to dodge between the boulders? Hmm? After killing Soda, his corpse is hidden. Look for it, please. Don't touch my Toma. Straight out of a B-movie. Friends. Oh, I thought that was like a, p a vegetable or something on the ground. Most quickly off character. She's hiding somewhere. Look for her if you'll never find blah, 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 blah. Oh. <laughs> no one accepts me. Aki male. Hmm. The story's protagonist, an ordinary question mark, high school girl and problem child, lives alone and off campus, unlike other students. Tends to focus on one thing and ignore the rest. That aspect is the main reason she goes to certain lengths for Mizao. The Albi the Sacrifice line? Well, that was no joke. She really would be ready to die for Mizao. That honest personality of hers might have been stopped in its tracks by Onigawara's glare. Aki's designed like an old shoujo manga heroine. She was more normal to begin with. I like ridiculous surreal gags, so I put lots of such jokes in the game. Part of her has no real meaning, it's just for fun. Part of her personality not being too distinct is I didn't want her to stand out too much. I considered a silent protagonist at first. I agonized over whether I should write her name with the character for Demon, hinting at a half-demon, half-human situation. If I make a sequel and it reveals her secrets, I think I'd like to do that with her name. Oops, I just spoiled it. <laughs> I have no plans at all. Sorry. Another protagonist selectable for a second go. Had the same personality as Girl Aki at first, but was a little more serious in the new version. I only wanted to draw Aki F and Mizao being friend friends in the true ending, so you can't choose it for that. No boys allowed. It was boring having an identical second playthrough, so I made him. I was gonna was going to make his default name Akito. Just his tone his tone was different in the old version, so that was pretty pointless. The new version has some slight personality changes, so check them out. Which I probably will not be doing. Hmm. Tree. No, I don't want to look at you, I want to look at the tree. Well, I suppose that is all for this playthrough. Let us leave. No, no, I want to look at the sink. Okay. Turn to the title screen. Thanks for vis visiting. <laughs> Alright, thank you for watching, and goodbye.